Solve exponential equations, right? I've added here using log. Well, here is a problem. It says 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 70. Surprisingly, this problem is for a grade 11 student. And they have not been taught about inverse of exponential functions and they have no idea about logarithmic functions, right? But yes, they can solve this problem as is there in their book by using graphs or by graphing calculator or by approximation, correct? So those are the methods which can be used at grade 11 level to solve this problem, correct? Now let's try to do it using uh, approximation. So in approximation what we'll try to do is we'll try to estimate what value of 3 to the power of something can give us close to 70. So you know 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 which is 9 times 9 which is 81 right now 70 is of course less than 81 so so this exponent here 2x plus 1 should be less than 4 so now what we can do is we can try to find what is 3 to the power of 3.5 right now getting into those fractions and exponents is very difficult to do as I've done here for 3 to the power of 4 so we definitely need a calculator, correct? So here is a calculator and let's try to find what can we do best, right? So 3 to the power of, so we say 3 to the power of, so there is a function here to the power and 3.5 and we say equals to 3 to the power of 3.5 gives me 46.76, okay. So it is 46.76. Now, that is much lesser than what we were expecting. So it has to be more, right? So let's do 3 to the power of, uh, let's say, 3.8. Okay. So we do 3 to the power of 3.8. And it gives me 65.022. So let me write this as... 65.022 okay that is even less but we are coming closer to 70 right so let's say 3.9 this time so we say 3 to the power of 3.9 which is equals to 72.57 so let me write it here so that because we have gone higher so 3 to the power of 3.9 is equals to 72.57 so we are somewhere in between 3.8 and 3.9 so let's try 3 to the power of 3.85 so it's a 3.85 and we get 68.69 so 3 to the power of 3.85 is 68.69 okay very good so we have to be slightly more than that so we say 3 to the power of 8 maybe 6 okay 3 to the power of a oh, sorry 3 to the power of let me 3 to the power of 3.86 and we get 69.4 point so so 3 to the power of 3.86 we get 69.45 69.45 we are very close right so let me try 3 3 to the power of uh, 3.865 3.865 and say 69.83 so 866 let me write so 3 to the power of 3.866 and then we say 69.91 okay so maybe 3 to the power of 3.867 so is a 3 to the power of 3.867 and then we get uh, okay 69.988 so that's that's very close so there's a 3 to the power of 3.868 and that gives me 70.06 so well we have to stop somewhere right 
So let's say this is our final thing and we say 3 to the power of 3.868 and that gives us 70.06 and that's that's very close, right? So let's stop here for the time being. It really depends on what accuracy you want to go. Here it's a very beautiful calculator which can do all magic for you. Well, I could have gone directly to log and find the answer. Well, I'll show you that also. See, when you have to use calculator for 10 times, why don't you use it once, right? Anyway, let's try to figure out now the answer. So let's assume that 3 to the power of something equals to 70 and that something is uh, 3.868. Therefore, we can now solve our linear equation. We have 2x plus 1 is equals to 3.868, correct? So let's solve this linear equation. So we have now 2x plus 1 is equals to 3.868, correct? Because this is closest to 70 we got, right? So let me write very close, okay? I know it is slightly less than this because I got 70.06. So now we can easily solve it. We get 2x equals to 3.868 minus 1. And so we have which is equal to 3, sorry, 2.868 and then x is equals to 2.868 divided by 2. And so we get 1.434, right? So approximately x here is 1.434, right? Now it's not a bad idea to teach the students how to use log, right? There is a separate section on using log, but I'm just giving you in short the solution in log, right? So when we, we can all, like log is inverse of uh, exponential function. So I'm not getting into the details of that, but such problems can be solved using log. So if I take log both sides, so we get log of 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to log of 70, right? Log is also a function on your calculator, so you can calculate using log. The whole thing, idea here is to use log and get <clears throat> some value very close to this and see what exact value or what value could be uh, there as a solution, right? So here, using log rules, this, this can be simplified as 2x plus 1 times log 3 equals to log of 70, right? And here we can say it is equals to 2x plus 1 equals to log 70 divided by log of 3. Now we have to use calculator to find log 70 divided by log of 3. So we say there's a log function here, right? So press log and then 70, right? And then you say divided by, well, it's good to write them in brackets. So let me just do it again. So log, we'll use bracket here put 70 within bracket and then say divide by log of 3 okay so we get what we get 3.86 so this we get as 3.86714 so that is our value right so this is like 2x plus 1 and from here we can find what x is so we have 2x equals to this minus 1 which is 2.86714 and then x is this divided by 2 right 2.86714 divided by 2 and we get let me divide so we'll do minus 1 from here first and then we'll divide by 2 and get our answer and we get 1.4335 so <clears throat> if you look at it we are actually pretty close, right? We are actually pretty close. If you if you round this to third decimal place, right? So what do you get? You get 1.434. Do you see that? So even by approximation and using calculator, we can get to a very close answer, right? You could use graphing calculator to find the solution to this kind of problem. And the other way was you can just plot a graph. Plotting a graph and then finding out value, you could have got close to like 1.4 because graph is, when you do it physically here on a paper, then it is like very difficult to get so many decimal places answer. 
we could have definitely got around 1.4 with the graph, correct? Now, so these are the different methods in which such problems can be solved. Approximation opens up your mind to look at a problem in a different way, right? You may not always have or you may not always know about these kinds of functions available to you, but still you can find the solution and that's the importance of having this question at grade 11 and so normally this question will be asked under application and thinking problems. So you have to go beyond what you've learned so far and get the answer for such problems. So it's indeed a very good question at this level. Thank you. I hope you appreciate uh, the effort which has been put here to show you how your approximate answer could be good enough. Thank you.